Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. From coast to coast, elected officials of all political stripes have been very vocal in calling on our federal government to stop the planned carbon tax hike on April 1st. Even the Liberal Premier of Newfoundland Labrador has come out against the 23% carbon tax hike. And yet, Bonnie Crombie and the Liberals in this House still stand shoulder to shoulder with their federal counterparts in support of the carbon tax. Unlike them, we've knocked on doors. We've heard loud and clear from the people of Ontario. They do not support another carbon tax hike. Speaker, can the minister please share what he's been hearing from businesses and workers when it comes to the Liberals' planned carbon tax hike? The Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, we have lowered the cost of doing business in Ontario by $8 billion annually. We've reduced taxes, we've cut red tape, we've shown the Liberals the way. This is how you bring business to Ontario. You know, Speaker, we have an incredibly diverse economy here. No one industry accounts for more than 15 percent. But each and every one of those businesses that we visit tell us the same thing. Get rid of the carbon tax. It is driving up the cost of everything. It is driving up the cost of business. It is driving up the cost in households. And it risks jeopardizing all the competitive advantage that we've brought to Ontario, Speaker. We need the Liberals and the NDP to pick up the phone, call their Response. federal representatives, and tell them to scrap the tax today. Here, here. The Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for his answer and important work for the people of Ontario. The message we're hearing from the people of Ontario is loud and clear. It doesn't matter if it's the minister's constituents in Nipissing or my constituents in Thornhill. We all want the carbon tax gone. We hear their concerns and that's why we've been so persistent in calling on the federal government to stop their planned carbon ta tax hike increase on April 1st. We know what happens when Liberals implement a tax hike after tax hike, because the previous Liberal government tested out this same playbook. Speaker, can the Minister please remind us of how the previous Liberal government's agenda of a high tax paid out? Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. Speaker, the people of Ontario remember very well what life was like under the Liberals. Their high taxes crushed businesses, they penalized workers, they sent 300,000 manufacturing jobs fleeing from the province of Ontario. But we took the opposite approach. We cut 500 pieces of red tape. We lowered taxes. And that's why, as you heard the Premier say only a few minutes ago, $28 billion in auto has landed in Ontario, $3 billion in life science has landed in Ontario, tens of billions of dollars in tech has landed in Ontario, and all that adds up to 700,000 new jobs created. Remember, 300,000 jobs lost under the Liberals, 700,000 jobs gained under this PC party. We showed the Liberals Fine. the way. Low taxes are how you create jobs. Stop the tax now. The next question, the member for Mr. Mark James.